Across Africa, the need for housing is huge. In Uganda, even the cheapest housing is affordable to only 3.5% of the population, with 1.3 million extra homes needed. In Kenya, nearly 2 million extra homes are required. We knew that the issue of housing was, was an issue, but then we were not so sure how to enter it, so Habitat came at the right time. That's why Habitat for Humanity's Terwilliger Centre for Innovation in Shelter worked with the Mastercard Foundation to develop the Building Assets Unlocking Access project. It helps low-income families pay for affordable housing through microfinance. And we knew that the needs that the clients are bringing can't be met by a mortgage product. We were targeting individuals who earn between five and ten dollars a day, both in Kenya and Uganda. And these are actually people who are ordinarily financially excluded uh, from, uh, from banking and uh, other financial services. The traditional way of acquiring a house in sub-Saharan Africa is to improve gradually on a basic shelter with more permanent fixtures. Housing microfinance helps families fund these improvements more quickly than conventional loans. In Uganda, Cyprian lives with his wife and two children, both of who suffer from sickle cell anemia. <laughs> Cyprian took a housing microfinance loan to build a house on a plot of land he had bought. In Kenya, housing microfinance supports people like Jedida, a hairdresser with her own salon. She took out three loans to build a new house for herself and her family. Ukiona <laughs> <laughs> at least within five years, we are looking at between uh, 90,000 to 100,000 families who should have directly benefited from this. For the next five years, uh, we should be able at least to reach about half a million homes would be good enough, and, and I think that is doable. Housing microfinance is more than just a home building loan. It makes a difference to people's identity and their self-respect. What the clients think about this product is a product that restores their pride in the community, not the pride of their own, but the pride of the whole family. In just two years, the project has given more than 40,000 families the chance to build their own homes. But with potential demand in the millions, the scheme needs to expand. More financial institutions, investors and policy makers need to be part of the housing microfinance revolution to help change the housing landscape in Africa.